Now in this example, we're asked to find the symmetric difference of two sets, A and B. This symbol right here, it's like a circle uh, plus sign, a plus sign with a circle around it. Uh, this is the symbol that represents the symmetric difference. Um, and it tells us exactly what the symmetric difference does, right? So it's the set that contains all the elements that are either in A or in B, but not in both. All right, so this is like the exclusive or, so the exclusive or. So it excludes all the things that are in both. So we want to, we're asked in this example to find the symmetric, symmetric difference of these two sets, but let's first try to draw a Venn diagram so we can see exactly uh, what this symmetric difference looks like. So we weren't asked to do this, but it's it's good to make sure we understand these definitions before we try to use them, right? So here's our sets A and B and our universal set S. And we want all the elements that are in A. So let me get my shader out. So we want all the stuff that's in A and all the stuff. So it's either in A or in B. So that's kind of actually, it's written as an or, but that means we want to shade both of them, right? So uh, either in A or in B, um, but not in both. So now I need to get my eraser out and I need to erase the overlap actually, right? So I'm gonna have to get my pencil back out and fill this back in. But there you go. So this is this right here, what's shaded here is the symmetric difference of A with B. So it's in A or it's in B, but it's not the stuff that's in both, right? So this is an exclusive or. Now, um, we can use this Venn diagram approach to actually, because these sets are very small, these sets that we were given, the first set, uh, the numbers one, three, and five, we can call that A. One, two, three, we can call that B. And we could just throw these into little circles, right? So the set, notice what's what's in the, what's the same, right? So one and three show up in both of these, A and B. So here's my A, here's my B. I'm constructing kind of a Venn diagram, but then I'm filling in the elements, right? We haven't really done that yet. But I've got the one, I've got the three, it shows up in both. A is missing the five, right? B is missing the two. All right, but now I filled out all these sets. So if you just look at A, you see one, three, five. If you just look at B, you see one, two, three. That's exactly right, right? Well, now what's the symmetric difference of these two? Well, I want, that's supposed to be a highlighter. I want the stuff that's from here and here, right? But not the stuff in the overlap. So it's our exclusive or. And now it's very clear we can see that our symmetric difference of A with B is just equal to the set of two comma five, five comma two. Remember the order of the elements in the set doesn't matter, right? Um, so you can write them as five comma two or two comma five, but you should just have two and five, but not have one and three. All right, so there's the symmetric difference of these two sets.